Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard at an achieve level. And in this video, I'll be going over an example of a uniform distribution. In this example, it says during peak hours, the commuter trains on the Westman line for the Auckland uh, transport in Henderson have a waiting time of 10 minutes. If you're waiting for a train, you have anywhere from uh, 0 minutes to uh, 10 minutes to wait with all times in between equally likely. And in part one, the question says uh, using an appropriate probability distribution model, sketch the distribution on the axis uh, given below. So in this case, random variable x is the wait time during peak hours and the uh, probability distribution function, which is f of x. And uh, in this question, we are only given two parameters, uh, minimum and maximum. So we've got a minimum value of uh, zero and the maximum value of 10. So we have got A and B values given. And then uh, we know that uh, the wait times are equally likely and uh, equally likely means the probability is uh, same between A and B. And also we know that uh, wait time is a continuous data. So from these informations supplied, we know that the, it is a uniform or rectangular distribution. So we'll uh, sketch this. So A value is zero and uh, B value is 10, minimum and maximum. And then we connect these two by drawing a horizontal line joining A and B. And um, once I've got this, I will also need the value of the uh, height uh, for this graph. And uh, it's very easy. We know that the total area will be one and using the um, formula for area of rectangle, which is given by base times height, I know base is given by B minus A, which is the distance between A and B. So B minus A will give you that. So substituting in the formula, area is 1, 1 equals to um, B minus A times height. Rearranging make H the subject, it's 1 over B minus A. And in this case, um, B is 10, A is uh, 0. So 10 minus 0 is 10. So we end up with height of 1 tenth. And that's the, uh, so the have it. This is the graph that will model uh, this uh, scenario with a height of uh, 0 0.1 and the maximum wait time of uh, 10 minutes. Moving on, the second part to the problem uh, says calculate the probability that it takes more than seven minutes for the next train to arrive at uh, Henderson uh, train station and also give any assumption or assumptions that you uh, need to make. In this case, I've already uh, drawn the um, uh, shaded area that we are after so it's uh, more than uh, 7 so it's from 7 all the way down to uh, 10 and this uh, shaded area will give you the probability and uh, it's a rectangle so area of rectangle is given by base times height the height is 1 tenth which is 0 0.1 so substituting area is equal to base so base of this shaded area here is uh, 10 take away 7 10 minus 7 times the height of 0 0.1 and putting these information together we get area of 0 0.3 and area is the probability and then we write the answer in context the uh, probability that takes more than seven minutes uh, for the next train to arrive at Henderson train station is 0 0.3 assuming the arrival times for the trains are independent events thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video